Exactly seven months after Nane Kufwadu became president, a big plan to collapse some companies in the financial sector began. Two universal banks were suddenly closed down. A year after that, Unibank, which was the biggest local bank, was collapsed by the Kufwadu government. Everybody was shocked. The workers, depositors, and their families couldn't believe such a big bank can be collapsed. What was happening was a well-orchestrated combined actions of the president, his cousin finance minister Kenufuriata, and the appointee to the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, to do evil. Facts are that, at the time Unibank was collapsed in 2018, the government of Ghana was owing Unibank to the tune of 1 billion Ghana cities. Yes, government of Ghana owed Unibank. Some of the government institutions which owed Unibank included Cocoa Board, Finance Ministry, Road Fund, Get Fund, Bank of Ghana, Bulk Oil Distribution Companies, Other Government Contractors, Quasi Government Entities. All these monies, Finance Minister Keno Furata refused to pay, yet he ordered the collapse of Unibank. Why? It served the interest of Ekufuado and Keno Furata not to pay Unibank, but rather kill the bank simply because it belonged to Dr. Kobna Dufour, a member of the opposition party NDC. This dirty political strategy was contained in the December 2016 leaked strategy document from the Dankwa Institute, an MPP political think tank controlled by Gabi Asari Otridakon, another cousin of President Ekufu Ado. The leaked strategy document recommended that President Ekufu Ado should eliminate all financial institutions belonging to opposition party members and sympathizers so as to avoid they getting funds to support the NDC. The leaked secret document specifically mentioned Dr. Kabana Dufour of Unibank and Dr. Papa Kwesi Indum of GN Bank as prime targets. Therefore, the decision to collapse all these banks was part of the Dankwa Institute agenda cooked by the Achem Mafia. To enable them implement their strategic plan, the president and his cousins refused to pay Unibank and also cancelled some of the loans given by the bank, describing those loans as bad debts. Loans that Unibank gave to Cocoa Board, Bank of Ghana, Government of Ghana, contractors, etc. were all cancelled as bad debts. If you refuse to pay a bank and turn around to say the bank doesn't have enough money, are you not a wicked man? If Bank of Ghana can cancel its own indebtedness to Unibank and then turn around to collapse the bank, is it not wickedness? Ghana, this is what Ekufuado and his cousins must answer to God, to you the taxpayer and to their grandchildren. Wicked people. Wickedness on high. Blue.